I've been a runner since I was in the 8th grade when my parents decided that instead of sitting around all summer, I should go out and run with my brother, who was on the high school cross country team at the time. I'll admit right now that I didn't enjoy doing it, especially in the killer Georgia heat, early in the morning when I would much rather have been sleeping. But regardless of how I felt about it, I quickly discovered something completely unexpected. I had a talent for it. Since that summer, I've continued to run and with that, continued to improve. I've been successful. At 14, I watched college boys hang their heads in shame when they came in behind me at road races. And at 16, I stood on the award stand with my high school team and accepted the state championship first place trophy. And with all of that, I still remember the time when I was 13 and stubborn and lazy and would stop and walk 100 meters from home, swearing that I simply could not run another step. Until my brother, two years older than me, who, and who I now realize was extremely patient, got behind me and literally shoved me to the end. I'm not really sure where I'd be if he hadn't come to pu continued to push me both literally and figuratively, or if my parents hadn't continued to sign me up for the road races until I loved that feeling of competition and success that comes with running until you want to collapse. I finally realized, through it, that you don't have to love everything that you're good at, but you will most certainly miss countless opportunities if you don't take advantage of every talent that you have. I still can't say that I love running simply for its own sake. It's difficult and painful and time consuming. But I'm good at it now, and without several things, without it, several things would be different for me. I would have had a much more difficult time adjusting to a brand new school had I not been a member of the cross country team and made friends that way. And I would not be recruited by many of the top colleges that I am now because of my performance. If you work at what you're good at, good things will come of it, even if it's only that sense of fulfillment that comes with working hard and being rewarded with a performance better than any you've had before. Try everything you're good at and something will catch on, even if it's not the most appealing option to you at first.